Hi, I'm Brittany County Systems, and today we're going to be creating a cuff bracelet. It's going to be a two-step process, so we're going to press it first, and then I'll show you how we use a new tool. We can make a nice little cuff bracelet, and it is a nice, easy thing to do, and it creates an entirely different product. So what I brought with me today are the two different bracelet options we have available. You can do the white, or we have the clear gloss. I have two images with me so we can see the difference with the different backgrounds. Some heat tape and a couple sheets of protective paper. What we're going to do first is align the bracelets with our images. And our second bracelet we'll go ahead and we'll line up as well. Get a couple pieces of heat tape. Make sure that we secure them in place so there's no shifting during our heat press. And once we have our heat tape secured, we can go ahead and move along to our press. So let's walk over to our press and we're going to place a sheet of protective paper on the bottom, grab our bracelets, and we're going to flip them so that our image is face down. Add another sheet of protective paper on the top. And you'll want to be sure to refer to your, for the website for your instructions. Using multiple items, you're going to want to adjust the time, temperature, and pressure. And you're going to want to use the most accurate, updated instructions for your equipment. Give this a quick press, and we'll be able to start our assembly process. And that sound means we're done. So we're going to lift and swing away on our press. They are metal, so it's going to be hot, but we'll be able to let them cool. It will just take a few seconds, let them cool on our press. And we'll be able to do the part two, which is the actual assembly of the cuff. We're going to be using this tool today, now that our bracelets have had time to cool. And it is a newer tool that we are offering. It has a nice little lip here that's going to give us a nice little curve. We'll show you how to use it, but we do recommend that you use some type of cloth just to, when you actually go to pull down and make your cuff itself, you're protecting all of the edges. Anything that could uh, chip or just any kind of protection at all would be great to have on that edge and make sure that we don't ruin any of our pressed image. So when I put it in the little nook, you can see that it's actually protecting the edge of our bracelet. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to follow it around, give it a nice clean bend, and I'll do it about halfway. And that's about the same shape as our tool itself. So I'll go ahead, grab my cloth again, do the same thing on the other side, and we'll match the other half. We'll be able to have a nice curved cuff bracelet. It's a nice, easy tool. It's a great little tip. Again, the bracelets themselves, you're, when you, you're going to adjust it to your size. For your customer size, I'll be able to adjust it, but also when they take it on and off. So the actual tool is just to kind of give it a nice start to a cuff, and then they can go ahead and they'll be able to adjust it too, because it's a nice bendable metal piece, and it's easy to display. You can set it up, put it on your display, and it's a Neat little feature. It's one step more than just the product you have and you're able to turn it into something else, which we love those kind of products. For all of our tips, products, and services, be sure to check us out at Condi.com and watch more of my videos at ConditV.com. I'm Radio County Systems and thank you for joining us.